Hey, what's up guys? It's Ferg Computing here. It is my first video. So, um, if you like it, hit the like button. If you dislike it, you know what to do. And if you have any questions or if I said something wrong or any way to make this video better for my channel, um, go ahead and put that in the comment section. So, let's go right into it. Today we have the Atomic Pie. Um, these things run on Amazon for about 35 bucks. I think they're out of stock right now. But I got mine about last week. And first of all, if you're thinking to buy one of these for 35 bucks and you're thinking, well, is it really worth it? Yes, yes it is. Um, it comes, it is the first um, single board computer with the Intel chipset. It has an Intel Atom up to 1.92 gigahertz. So that's actually pretty good. Um, people are saying online, is it going to be a Raspberry Pi killer? All that kind of stuff. No, I don't think so right now because they're still fairly new. There's not really much about them online except for what people have done themselves. There's not much support or anything like that. In the future, maybe. But they're a little bit bigger than the Raspberry Pis. They're not easier. They're not as portable. They're kind of harder to take places, especially with the way you have to power them. Um, that's about it. So, power. Um, that's a big question for a lot of people. I'm using 3 amps. They recommend 3 to 4 amps. It seems to work just fine for 3 amps. I've got... This little thing right here is an Adafruit Industries. I got this on Amazon for about five bucks. Just this little micro USB pinout. It's got, you got your plus five volts, your in and out, your data in, your data out, and your ground. Now, we only need plus five volts and ground for the power. And they recommend using two five volt and two ground sources. So I've just got these alligator clips that go and then to the board at the bottom and they're connected to safety pins. No joke, if you cut up safety pins and if they have paint on them, sand them down or something and stick them up inside of there, they fit perfectly and you can attach alligator clips and it works actually really well. Um, and then I just have pieces of tape on the alligator clips themselves in between so they don't touch. Because if you reverse the polarity, it could significantly damage your board. Um, as for the board itself, it has a full-size HDMI, um, GPIO pins, Ethernet, USB 3.0, um, got some other stuff here, it's a webcam input, um, micro SD card slot, it comes with 16 gigabytes of onboard EMMC memory. Um, and it's pretty fast, so if you're installing an operating system, I would recommend installing it on the onboard memory itself, not on an external SD card. Um, here's your CMOS, BIOS, reset button, and your CMOS battery. This needs to stay plugged in, because if it's not, your time and date and stuff like that will go. Um, so, let's go ahead and, uh, Boot the pie up. I'm gonna switch right there. The little thing lights up here. I've got the Raspberry Pi official Wi Fi adapter. This is just a Bluetooth adapter. And then this is my keyboard and mouse. And this little hub right here on Amazon was like six or seven bucks i installed linux mint via the installation media because it comes pre-installed with lubuntu but people are saying it's really not the best because it's kind of old and outdated so i figured drivers and support and stuff like that may not be the best so i put linux mint on here so here it is and it actually runs pretty smoothly um I had a problem at first with the Wi-Fi not working because you can try out Linux before you install it and it was not letting me choose my Wi-Fi adapter but as soon as I actually installed Linux on here 
it worked just fine. So it has onboard Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, but you have to plug in antennas or like a card from a laptop or something. And I just had that stuff lying around. So I thought, hey, I might use it. Um, and this thing, I didn't have to do any kind of driver installs whatsoever. It just plug and play and it worked just fine. So um, everything on here is pretty snappy. Um, it's, I mean, I've customized it and worked with it a little bit, but it's pretty fast. I don't, I mean, the mouse is pretty smooth. It's not bad at all. Um, Wi-Fi, you've got Firefox. It's not the fastest thing ever, but it's not slow either it's actually pretty fast it's faster than raspberry pi for sure um youtube loads on it pretty fast i don't find my keyboard it's kind of hard to do with this one hand let's see if i can get it staying on there okay or i could have just click the button that's my bad um so yeah, YouTube, like, again, it's not the fastest thing ever, but it's not bad, and it runs videos actually pretty well. So I'll just go to my other channel. I have, like, a drumming channel. So let me type this out for you. Sorry for that. I'm doing this with one hand. Okay. So I don't have sound because I don't have, like, a speaker or anything you plugged into here right now hopefully i can get that you can probably just get a bluetooth speaker um everything runs pretty smoothly i gotta get this to load i'm in like the far room of the house that doesn't have a router in it so the wi-fi connections back here is not the best um this monitor only goes up to 720p but it plays smooth at 1080 you can try that yourself this thing will ever load um i don't think it supports 4k i think it goes up to 1080 well this thing doesn't look like it's gonna load anytime soon yeah i am experiencing interruptions let's see let's try to I don't know why it's not working, guys. I'm sorry about that. But anyway, it runs smooth. I haven't experienced any kind of problems with the YouTube playback except for this right now, the Wi-Fi. I don't know what's up with that. But like I said, it runs pretty good. Um, I would definitely recommend this board. It is pretty darn cool. Hopefully I can do some more experiments with it later, hopefully getting like RetroPie or... Uh, Raspberry Pi operating system and stuff like that and that'll be fun so like I mentioned this is my first video I'll be doing some more stuff with Raspberry Pis and working on computers and stuff like that so if you have any comments or ways to make this better if I misspoke or anything let me know I'll try to get links in the description for all the stuff that I have up here on my setup so you can buy it and that's it. See you guys later.